Hi guys, welcome to today's session and today we are going to discuss about the FRBM Act that is the Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act 2003 and uh, this is a very famous act and uh, related to the economic health of uh, our country and uh, in this session we will first see the background of uh, FRBM and then we will see an overview about uh, FRBM Act and uh, we will check the provisions of FRBM and uh, there was one committee to review FRBM recently and uh, it is called NK Singh Committee. So we will see our NK Singh Committee recommendations and finally we will examine the latest uh, FRBM targets. So that's how I plan this lesson. Let's now start. So firstly we will see why was the FRBM act enacted. So guys in India the borrowing levels were very high in 1990s and uh, 2000s. Indian economy was weak as it had high fiscal deficit, high revenue deficit and high debt to GDP ratio. And by 2003, uh, the continuous government borrowing and the resultant debt had severely impacted the health of Indian economy. And much of the borrowing was utilized for uh, interest payments of previous borrowings but not for productive purposes. And this resulted in interest payments becoming the largest expenditure item of the government and many economists uh, warn that uh, the government uh, this condition is not sustainable they advise the legal steps to prevent india to fall into a debt trap and uh, as a result of this parliamentarians of india to felt that there should be control on the government of india not to resort a high level of uh, borrowing to fund its expenditure so as a result of this uh, uh, FRVM Act was enacted in 2003 and uh, it came to be known as Fiscal Responsibility and Budget uh, Management Act. So that is the background of FRVM. Uh, now we'll see an overview about this act. So FRVM Act is all about maintaining a balance between government revenue and government expenditure. And the intention of Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act was to bring a fiscal discipline, efficient management of expenditure, revenue and debt, microeconomic uh, stability, better coordination between fiscal and monetary policy, transparency in fiscal operation of the government and achieving a balanced uh, budget. So that was uh, the intention and the objectives of FRBM Act was um, uh, that to introduce uh, transparent uh, fiscal management systems in the country to introduce a more equitable and manageable distribution of the country's debts over the years and to aim for uh, fiscal stability for India in the long run. And additionally, the act was expected to give the necessary flexibility to Reserve Bank of India for managing inflation in India. And uh, if you see the provisions uh, of uh, Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act, you can see that uh, the FRBM rules mandate four uh, fiscal indicators uh, to be projected in the medium term fiscal policy statement and uh, these are one is a revenue deficit as a percentage of GDP, second one is uh, fiscal deficit as a percentage of D GDP and the tax revenue as a percentage of GDP and then the total outstanding liabilities as a percentage of GDP and uh, also the FRBM Act sets uh, targets for fiscal deficit and revenue deficit and the act provided for uh, certain documents are uh, to be tabled in the parliament of India along with the budget annually uh, with regards uh, to country's fiscal policy and this included the medium term fiscal policy statement, uh, fiscal policy strategy statement macroeconomic framework statement and a medium term expenditure framework statement. So these documents has, has to be tabled along with the budget annually uh, in the Parliament of India that was also recommended by the or mandated by the uh, FRBM Act. So that is uh, the, about the provisions. Now uh, there was a uh, committee constituted by the government uh, to review the FRBM Act in 2016 and uh, this committee was called Encasing Committee. So we will see the recommendations of Encasing Committee with regard to FRBM Act. 
the reason that the uh, encasing committee was constituted by the government uh, because government believed that the frbm targets uh, were too rigid and uh, so that in may 2016 government constituted an encasing committee to review frbm act and committee recommended that government should target a fiscal deficit of 3% of the gdp in the years up to march 31st 2020 and cut it to 2.8% uh, in uh, 2020 to 2021 and to 2.5 percent uh, by 2023 so that was the recommendation by uh, encasing committee and the committee uh, suggested using debt as the primary target for fiscal policy and this ratio was uh, 70 percent in uh, 2017 and uh, other targets set by encasing are debt to gdp ratio uh it advocated for a debt to gdp ratio of 60% to be targeted with a 40% limit for the center and 20% limit for the states and uh, they set target for revenue deficit target also that our uh, uh, revenue deficit should be reduced to 0.8% of gdp by march 31st 2023 and the minimum annual reduction uh, was 0.5% of gdp and um, uh, regarding the fiscal deficit target uh, it should be reduced to 2.5% of gdp by march 31st 2023 and the minimum annual reduction target was 0.3% of gdp so uh, that uh, was the target set by encasing committee and the recommendations uh, now also we'll uh, see what are the latest frbm targets for the india for uh, for our country So upon the recommendations government uh, set some targets and the latest provisions of frbm act requires government to limit fiscal deficit to 3% of the gdp by march 31st 2021 and also debt of the central government to 40% of the gdp by 2024 and 2025 and uh, these are the major targets and uh, the act provides a uh, room for deviation from the annual fiscal deficit target under certain conditions we know that on the week of uh, pandemic this corona virus pandemic uh, we don't know how accurately government can follow this target uh, so there is a pro- there is provisions for deviation from the fiscal deficit target uh, and i hope that this uh, by march 31st 2021 uh, this 3% target uh, won't be met Uh, but um, this act is very important for uh, maintaining the physical and economic health of our country so that is all about frbm act guys uh, it is a important prelims as well as mains topic and also in interview also they ask a questions on um, frbm act so please uh, thoroughly study about this act is a very important topic thank you for watching this lesson